Tell me why the same people who tell me to stop eating steak every day are the same ones who ate McDonald's. I just don't get it. They're dumb, that's, that's that. Right, so here we have the raw milk kid who is apparently an 18 year old lad starting to go kind of viral with his raw milk lots of steak videos. That's good. Now, what he said here is a classic example of the false equivalence fallacy. The video implies that critics of daily steak consumption are hypocrites for eating fast food, but the difference is that no one who regularly eats fast food does so because they think it's healthy. Whereas he's eating beef burgers and steak multiple times a day thinking it is healthy. It is healthy, Dr. Eds. If we have time, we'll get into it. The truth is both excessive red meat consumption and regular the fast food intake are both linked to serious health issues. Oh uh, yep, that word linked there, that means you're referring to epidemiology and association. Associations can never report on cause and effect, Dr. Ids, no matter how strong the association is. You should understand this, you should have learned this. That just fell flat on its face. Including cardiovascular disease, colorectal cancer, and certain metabolic disorders. And by the way, where do associations fall on the establishment's uh, hierarchy of evidence, by the way? Where do those fall? Quite low. The fact that McDonald's consumption is unhealthy does not make daily state consumption healthy. That's true. You know, I feel particularly bad for these young kids who have been duped into believing social media personalities over expert medical guidelines and research. Let me remind you that every single top healthcare country in the world all agree that we shouldn't be eating much red meat. Appeal to authority fallacy, appeal to consensus fallacy. I thought you were against fallacies. Wow. <laughs> Take Japan, for example, often ranked very highly for healthcare. That's an opinion. Where, did the, where does that fall in the uh, hierarchy of evidence again? Okay. Their official dietary guidelines state that it's red meat should be consumed in small amounts, no more than two to three times a week. Look well, my opinion is it should be every single day. See how we both have different opinions? See how those aren't evidence? Look at Switzerland, a top three healthcare system in Appeal to authority fallacy again. In Europe, advise a maximum of- Wow, this guy's an idiot. This is interesting. Eat two to three times a week. Look at Sweden, top five country- Another appeal to authority fallacy and appeal to consensus fallacy altogether. Globally, advise less than 500 grams of red meat a week. Singapore often ranked the another fallacy. Wow, wait, I thought you were against fallacies, bro. Top healthcare system in the world say to consume less. That's an opinion that there's a top healthcare system, by the way. That's not an objective measure. Less than 90 grams of red meat a day and to reduce your saturated fat intake, of which red meat is a big contributor. Another fallacy. Listen, not everything is. Wow, this guy's actually a dumbass. This is crazy. Some big conspiracy. Not every single country in the world is working against you to advise you to eat your fruits and veggies and to cut back on your red meats. It's simply what the science shows. Oh uh, yeah, you're a complete f idiot. Wow. Yeah, sorry, we have no science that can report on health outcomes in humans yet. We don't lock people in labs. Sorry, fail again. Let's start elevating science and research. Oh, you want to elevate science? Then uh, Dr. Is, you could uh, fund the first study that locks people in labs and you'd actually make some real science. Uh, that just hasn't happened yet though. 